Welcome back to Syllable Spell Success. For Lesson 7, we're going to work on learning English words of Greek origin. Does that sound scary and difficult? Don't worry. By the end of this lesson, you'll see that, after you learn a few basics, most English words of Greek origin are actually very easy to spell and read. This symbol, and these are the two ways that can be shown, is the Greek letter for the sound of f. It is called phi. Since Greek does not have a letter F, but instead this letter phi, when Greek words and roots come into English, they use the letters PH together to show the F sound to preserve their Greek heritage. Here are a few Greek words with the F sound, showing the spelling of PH as F. Phone, photo, phonics, morph, graph. Words with Greek origin also use a lot of Y's as vowels. These Y's have the sound of I when they're within the word and the sound of a long E when they're at the end of the word or word root. Here are a few examples. Hydrogen, synthetic, biology, polygon. Words of Greek origin can also have the sound of K, K, spelled with the letter team CH, although they also sometimes use a C or a K. Here are some examples. Archaeology, chronic. Words of Greek origin can also have some unique silent letter teams. Silent H of RH, as in rhyme, rhetoric. Silent M and MN, as in mnemonic or mnemonic. And silent P in PT, PS, and PN, as in pterodactyl, psychology, mnemonic. Now, we'll learn how Greek words are built and then build some Greek words of our own. Many English words of Greek origin are simple compound words that are made by putting together two basic root forms. They are built just like simple compound words in English. Two words put together to make a new word from a combination. Like ship and mate makes shipmate. Or house and hold and farm and hand to make household and farm hand. In a similar manner, two Greek words were put together to make telephone the Greek root tele and the Greek root phone. Also, two Greek roots are put together to make microscope. The roots micro and scope together make microscope. Tele means far or distant and phone means sound. We put together telephone to mean sound from a distance. Micro means small, scope means see, we put together to mean seeing small things. There were not words for telephone or microscope before their invention, and two Greek roots were combined to describe their inventions. Many Greek roots were formed this way by scientists and inventors. Now we can use our knowledge of Greek roots to make our own, make at least two real words. The rest can be invented words or real words. See you back in four minutes. We're going to take a look at a few words from the next Webster Speller table. Table 32, these are all accented on the second syllable, so the first syllable will sometimes schwa, as in a base. On table 66, these are six grade level words. They are accented on the first syllable. Stagnate, frustrate, dictate, triumph. Not all students will get to these tables this lesson. You can keep working on table 26 for students if need be. Students who do very well with each table can move on. Also, students without a sound phonics space may need to work a bit on Webster alternated with review of blend phonics and the syllable division exercises. Now, time for you to work on some. See you back in 10 minutes. This time, we're going to play Greek root bingo. First, play a game with Greek list 1, then play a game with Greek list 2, then both combine for a giant Greek bingo game. Thanks for watching! Remember to do the exercises linked in the video description to get the full benefit and also read the words. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to watch the rest of the lessons. You'll be amazed at how much you learn by the end.